Hi guys, welcome back to Vampire Bloodlines with Kemp. Um, we are heading over to this diner to check out where Lily might have got to for E. That's still an amazing name, guy. So let's see... Diner. Well, you immediately look suspicious. Something I can help you with. Maybe? Should be out guess. tonight. Is everything okay? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Your eyes are very green. Goodbye then. Talk to any of you guys. Eating. You're you're eating, did you say? Looks like your cook's burning the stuff, woman. And you're not really doing anything if you're tapping. And you're not serving these poor people. What'll it be, honey? <laughs> Let's just complain about the place. You're the health inspector. Uh. So, what what color is which? I believe isn't green intimidation and blue is persuasion. Let's just try the blue. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's fifty bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. Well, that was easy. I I don't normally shake people down for money. Maybe I could make a habit of this. Um, but I do need what to talk to you more. Uh, do you see any pale, strange types in here? Is that a trick question? Maybe. You ever heard the, f the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Yeah, let's go with that. Where did you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Kind of strange girl? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Ironically. Like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Um, you, you're giving a lot of stuff away here, woman. I just walked in and said, is that some rat droppings? And you gave me 50 quid. Now you give me some random girl's purse. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay. Got a girl's photo. I, I assume that'll be Lily. Bail bond. Ah, the bail bonds guy. Maybe I can check out this driving license while I'm at it. Ooh, a key. What's the key for then? The purse. So what we got? Nope, these are none of the right keys. So, oh yeah, we got the stake, didn't we? Uh, Bell Bonds, Rolf Toten. Interesting. Uh, pills, pills, astrolyte, costereo, morphine. Driver's license, Virgil Crumb. He. That That is not how you compose for a driver's license, is it? Just looking like you're about to tear someone's throat out. Uh, this is Lily. August 3rd, Santa Monica. And a purse. So we need to look up one Ralph Toten and a Virgil Crumb. And possibly... Oh, of course, yeah, the driving the driving license. That was the one that uh, Bertram's guy gave me, wasn't it? Let's kill two birds with one stone. Great guy. Kill Patrick's bell bonds. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? 
Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I'll You got up quickly. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Ah, uh, you run this place, I guess? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. Doesn't that defeat the point of employees? I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, sounds like an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Why is everyone so careful around me? Do I really look so... innocent, naive, whatever? A Mercurio wouldn't tell me that Jeanette has sex with people. This guy's apologising for using the term balls. Ah. Um. Yeah, is, yep, is he any good? good? His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, that sounds like the lead into another mission, doesn't it? Can you find another one? Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Well, someone who's actually willing to pay me for what I'm doing. That makes a change. So, yeah, I'm going to go for number two. Where should I look for him? And I'm quite happy to do it. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment one, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card that let you in. Is that what my place is called, Santa Monica Suites? Uh, it makes it sound a lot nicer than it is, doesn't it? Sure, honey. What is it? A couple of questions. What about these murders? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore him up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Who's this they you keep going on about? Uh, well, the cops do. Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Well, true. Uh, questions? No, I'm off. So that's one of the things with this game. I might have mentioned this before, where it gives you the ability to ask more questions when there are no questions to ask. It, it seems a bit silly. Take a test for me? Sure. Um, oh, oh, oh. Seriously, job these up your ass. Here, try this one. Mm. Hey, mm. mother fucking great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. What the fuck is this? Shit? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Because that's some good fucking chicken. I mean, Friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken. You'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking... I want friggin' show. chicken. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally mute object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! <laughs> She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I'm sorry. Wow, I have to listen to this. Geniuses. Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to make a deposit. Okay, that... That, that joke's just wrong. So, where are we? Bonds. It's incredible. Is he going to get annoyed? I hope not. Money. What a password. Muddy. I don't want to know why he's called Muddy. 
patented time release spirit toys. Okay. Um, need to F. Who do we need? Crumb. Oh, Virgil Crumb. Uh, two counts per week disturbance. Trunk and nudity. Um, cash paid in full. This Democratic candidate Michael Rebens to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican oh, cops. Oh, he's in the morgue. That has never okay. Vehicular homicide. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? Could you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Fuller, the candidate that so is Toten, yeah. child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. But Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Uh, car, red, red car. Let's, uh, let's check out the, the car park show. In a world people live and die. Go in there and handle this by yourself? If that's what it takes, he was about to meet his greatest foe. So I'm just listening to the radio. All of them. And a girl. Hello. Hi. And a comic relief sidekick who won't make it to Act 3. I picked the wrong month to cancel my life insurance. No, don't say that. You're gonna make it. With a guy from that other movie that was slightly popular, and what's her name from that show you sometimes watch? In a movie with two spectacular CGI battle sequences and an advertising campaign that will leave you no choice but to see this film. See it, because it's a movie, and all your friends are going. In theaters Friday, and on DVD in three months. Hello, LA. You're up way past your... Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I I love this radio show. I, I would advise everyone to just go find. So, someone must have uploaded it to YouTube. Um, or if you've got the game, you can just directly uh, look into the audio files. But it the adverts are hilarious. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's completely irrelevant. So, I think we've got everything we need to know. So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Uh, yeah, red car, and Virgil's in the morgue. So you may notice I'm not doing this Ocean House quest for Therese. I don't like that quest. It kind of drags and it tries to scare you and it's just all sorts of guy if I wasn't in line of sight I would just I would drink her blood right now for doing that as a punishment not because I enjoy watching it stop peeing What was I saying? My my train of force is com has completely gone. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Ocean House quest. No. I don't know. It is. To be honest, the first time you play it. Oops. First time you play it, it is quite scary. Uh, not so much on subsequent playthroughs, but you do tend to forget slightly uh, what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, sorry, I just went straight to this car. I already know where it is. I need to stop accidentally clicking. Come on. Uh, let's see, diary. And now, I've got the combat music. It's hard to concentrate with that banging away in my ear. Just because I happen to accidentally punch a car. So, Lily's diary. Met a guy called Rolf. Uh, European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. That's good to know. Uh, he looks rich. Um, blah, blah, blah. He wanted to give me something special next week. I bet he does. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
If it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. I uh, woke up at 9pm, don't remember going to sleep. Don't remember anything since last Saturday. Woke up late again, haven't eaten anything in four days. Uh, Ralph came over and said I needed blood. Wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. I tried to refuse but I couldn't. What's happening to me? People trying to force Rolf out of the country. Had to bail him out of jail. That's where the bail bond came from. Resix's visa expired. I thought it was like drunken nudity. Oh, then no, that was Virgil Crumb, wasn't it? Uh, Rolf disappeared. Then she met E, of course. He kissed me last night, couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck, drank too much, gave him my blood to save him. Yeah, that's uh, that's the vampire thing. Of course, if you completely drain someone, they die. If you don't completely drain them, they're fine, but don't remember what you did to them. Uh, there's a sort of two-way feeding thing in order to actually convert someone. Um, explained it all, doesn't want to see me again. She's going to sneak into the blood bank and grab a few bags before anyone catches her. Well, someone might have caught her, I guess. So let's see. Blood bank and morgue, conveniently, in one building. Shall we head over there? That was a sudden drop to the floor. Uh, hospital, hospital. How many... I have 8 experience points right now. I should probably spend them. Now that I know that persuasion is actually more important than intimidation. Scholarship bumps up research and persuasion. Charisma just bumps up persuasion. So I can put... I can put a point into scholarship because that's actually cheaper and it bumps more things up. Can I bump seduction up at all? Appearance and subterfuge. Subterfuge only does seduction as well. I'm going to leave that for now. Blood bank downstairs. How do I get into the morgue? Probably not where the blood bank is, I guess. Wait a minute. Can I go into the main part of the hospital from here? That's here. Oh, of course, you can't open from this side, can you? How are you, guy? I will get to forgot me already. I am disappointed. So let's see. I hear security cameras in there. Nice. I'm going to quickly say, actually, yeah. What is, what is the quick save button? I never remember that, and I should start using it. Quick save, F9. So I'm going to quick save here. Just in case there's someone very violent inside. Or specs. Probably help me a lot, wouldn't it? Because my range is still quite limited. He saw me. For hospital staff only. Wow. Now that is a glitchy conversation. Welcome to your trip, guys. Ooh, seduction. I can seduce him. Much too handsome to work in a place like this. Uh, miss? Yeah, miss. Do you want to find out if you're daydreaming? What am I going to do? I took his key and fed off him at the same time. That is sneaky. Through a wall, even. Okay. 
if you insist. Um, the buff. Cool, that door's open for me. I can sneak up through there, but I don't really need to now. Anything in here? Oh, I've already broken into Malcolm's computer anyway. Poor guy. So what's in CIS? Central Information Services. Uh, where am I? CS door unlock, I guess. Door unlocked. CS cabinet. Money again. Unlock. Unlock all of the things. So what? What would happen there is that when I unlocked the... I'm just going to go straight there for the moment. When I unlocked that cabinet in there, it enabled the security camera because obviously it's a secure area. But I've just got rid of him, so no one can see me on the camera anyway. Anyway, uh, it's time to end off this episode. I'll finish my little trek through this area in the next one. So, if you liked the episode, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.